Local dog owners are headed for some howling good times. Santa Barbara Parks and Rec may add a bunch of new off-leash areas for dogs at city parks. News Channel 3's Victoria Sanchez joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tori, you know where those sites could be. Yeah, Beth and CJ, this is a very exciting time for dog owners. I'm live at Arroyo Borough Beach, also known as Henry's Beach. This is one of the three locations within the Santa Barbara City Park system that allows dogs to run around free without those leashes. Now the city is taking steps to add three more to that list. It's dog heaven, that's why. It's, it's people heaven and dog heaven. Dog owners enjoy the off-leash areas almost as much as their four-legged friends. Okay, all right. Over the past right. few years, Santa Barbara Parks and Rec has heard from pet parents calling for more areas where their dogs can run free. So the city did a study to find out what could work. We essentially evaluated what's going on nationally, what's going on locally, and then looked very specifically at each one of our parks to determine is there space to allow dog use here as well as other recreation. Out of the city's 54 areas, three are being considered. Ortega Park by Santa Barbara Junior High School, Dwight Murphy Field across from the zoo and East Beach, and Mackenzie Park at Upper State in Las Positas. I think it's a good idea as long as it doesn't, you know, cause real problems with residents. I think it's just important that you have responsible owners because you got to have uh, people who are going to look after their dogs and take responsibility for what their dogs are doing and how they're interacting with the other dogs. Before the project can move forward, there needs to be funding. Some of the costs associated with adding off-leash sections to existing dog parks includes fencing and also these litter bags that help you clean up after your pet. I think it's definitely worth uh, whatever small amount of tax dollars is going to go to the project for sure. You know, this is the thing that we pay taxes for because we want to have better lifestyles for us. And, you know, people think of dogs as family. You know, I'm looking, I'm holding him like a little baby. The Parks and Rec Commission is meeting Wednesday to discuss the possibility of adding those additional off-leash sites. Now, this is only the beginning of the conversation. If this moves forward, there will be community meetings in each location so that everyone can know what's going on. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3.